Hi everyone, today I'll be playing through a brief quest called In Sheep's Clothing, which you can receive immediately after being banished from the Institute. It will remain available if you haven't yet received it and decide to complete the main storyline first, as I've done here. In order to begin the actual quest, you'll have to travel to Diamond City. Upon arriving at Diamond City, you will know that the quest has begun if you notice a small group of people gathered around this spot. As you can see, there's no one here yet, and so I'll have to fast travel away and come back to Diamond City. Try fast traveling once or twice, and the group of people should appear, and the quest will begin. Hold on, Sullivan. Just to make God wait a little longer. You gotta listen. Mayor McDonough, I saw him with one of those Institute synths. Piper was right. He's one of them. McDonough's a synth. Oh, God. What do we do now? You can stop standing around. Someone get a doctor. <clears throat> Two slugs in the gut. Plus the fall from the elevator. I ain't gonna make it. What happened to you, Danny? I was making my rounds near the mayor's office when I heard shouting. Thought he was in trouble at first. <clears throat> then when I found him, he, he was with us since. One of those old ones with all, with all the metal parts. Said something about how they can't do this to him. That's when they noticed I was there. Got plugged two times before I ran to the elevator. I remember falling. And it's kind of hazy. Hold on. My friend here can help. I will administer first aid and trauma stabilizers. Thank you, miss. Pardon me if I don't get up for a while. Congratulations, you've won. I hope you break your foot trying to kick that door down. Ugh, damn it, it won't budge. Damn it, McDonough's locked the door. That's far enough. Help me, he's crazy. I am not just going to be discarded and tossed to the wolves. I'm the mayor, goddammit. Mayor McDonough, I can help you, but not when you're holding a hostage. Let her go. Oh, all right. She can go. Now, I'll tell you what's going to happen next. I'm walking out of this city, unharmed, with my dignity intact. You're not getting off the hook that easy, McDonough. You have to answer for what you've done. I'm either walking out of the city a free man, or I'm killing as many of you disgusting, filthy savages as I can. What are you gonna do then, McDonough? I can't go back to the Institute. I can't stay here. But I'm a man of resourcefulness. I'll make my way. Just let me go. Hasn't there been enough bloodshed? Think about poor Mr. Sullivan. You're going to stand trial, and these people are going to have justice. Lord knows you've got plenty to answer for. Trial? Please. You know how these people feel about synths. I won't be stuck in a prison while they gloat. One more obituary! My sensor cannot detect anything. May I ask what are you He's shooting dead. at? Huh. I can't say McDonough didn't deserve worse, but... Without a mayor, the city council will be next in line to pick up the pieces. Let's hope they do a better job. I don't know when people are going to be ready for another mayoral election. Not going to be soon, that's for sure. 
But at least now, Diamond City will finally have the truth. Oh, the mayor is dead. This is not good. Hey, Piper. I got a lot to clean up here, Blue. Hit me up again later. Geneva. Oh my god. He almost killed me. You... You saved my life. I... think I'm gonna faint. Oh my god. He almost killed me. Sullivan. I'm just gonna stay here for a bit. Hey, Clements. Thank you. God willing, he'll make a full recovery. God, I voted for the mayor twice. He was with the Institute this whole time. The paper was right all along. I always thought the mayor was just a blowhard. And that concludes In Sheep's Clothing. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to let me know, and I'll do my best to help. <laughs>